What's up travelers? Welcome to Tasting Travel. In this video, we're going to go check out the Royal Church of the Tudors, Westminster Abbey. So stick around. Unfortunately, at this point, I was asked not to film. However, photography was allowed. So here's a slideshow of what I saw. So this is the nave or the high altar of Westminster Abbey. The floor in front of the altar is the Cosmati pavement. It was installed in 1268 and it is made of colored glass and marble and laid into some plain marble. Uh, since 1066, every monarch, king or queen has been coronated in the center of this floor. Surrounding this space and the shrine of King Edward directly behind it uh, are the tombs of most of the Tudor kings. King Henry VIII chose to be buried in a completely different church altogether. Now we are looking at the shrine of St. Edward the Confessor, which is surrounded by a bunch of medieval kings. King Edward I. King Henry III, the one who built Westminster Abbey. Eleanor of Castile. King Henry V. King Edward III. King Richard III. And King Richard II with his wife, Anne of Cleves.
This is the tomb of Elizabeth I and her sister Mary I, who were divided in life, but will forever be buried together in death. This is the tomb of Henry VII and Elizabeth of York, the very first Tudor monarchs. Buried at the feet of King Henry VII is Sir Oliver Cromwell, one of the most controversial figures in English and Irish history. And this is the tomb of Queen Mary of the Scots. And now we head over to the Poet's Corner. A painting of Queen Elizabeth's coronation and the coronation chair itself. If you've enjoyed this video, please give me a like and subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate it. Thanks.